have been trying to train the chickens to eat from my hands. And I have this fruit. Disgusting. Ouch. But they do it, you guys. Just don't take my fingers, okay? Just don't take my fingers. <laughs> so this white one here, she looks like, uh, what do you call it? She looks like a Brahma cross. But they all come and they try to eat from my hand. Breaking into the piles. Not ready to bail yet because it's too wet. Too wet. Is that how you tell? Yeah, you take some hay and you twirl it, and if it breaks, then it's not breaking, so it's not drying up. Did you did you flip it over? Yeah. Flipped it over and the rig did it. I didn't have the cutter down. Molly! Hi, right, good job, Sam! Now that Sam is getting ready to do our hay, we're gonna move all this stuff out of here. I just don't know where we're gonna put it. We can play in it, but first we have to get rid of all this stuff. So I think what we're gonna do is we're just gonna move all this stuff to our barn area. Because we don't want it in the and we don't want it with the horses. No, she would push it. She would push it and it would be broke. Where is your missing daughter? We have a missing daughter. Uh, we'll see her two hours later. Yeah, we'll see her two hours later. I think what we're gonna do is put everything in here. Do you guys remember a couple years ago we did hay? We had hired somebody to cut it. And it was so much work and it was like the hottest day. I think that's why they do it on hot days because it dries out fast. Anyway, it was such a hot day and we had to get it all up and to the hay loft. It was so awful. I hated it. I always see people doing hay on like really, really hot days. Is there a reason for that? We do it on a hot, humid day. It takes longer to dry because the humidity stays in that day. Oh, that's true. And we do it in hot days and hot, windy days are the best days because the wind helps. Dry it? Dry it out quicker. Yeah. I saw a bunch of people cutting hay just down the road. Now. Everyone's doing hay right now. Yeah, I felt like we missed, missed our mark, but I think today's the perfect day. Good job, Sam. Proud of you. I think she is something for me. Excuse me, miss. It's my first time here. Maybe you can show me. Got something every good thing comes to an end at least it always happened to me i'm telling you this now you don't need to worry because i got this all down and we get all together and we
Steph's cleaning up the arena. That's so good. Perfect. Good job. High five. I what? I quit. You quit? Why? I don't like that. There's <laughs> spiders. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna sweep it out, you guys. But that's it. That's where our hay is gonna go. Sam's gonna get more skids. So we're gonna put it here instead of in the loft you because don't carry everything upstairs. yeah. I mean, we used to. Um, a friend's hay elevator before, but it just, it's hard up there because there's no clearance for your head. Gabby says she wouldn't know because, oh yeah, she banged her head. So we used to have it up there. It just was annoying. Like if you have, if you're tall, it just makes haying harder on your back. Never up, never down, never Like a theme in a song, clever Feeling high, feeling low at the same time Feel so right, then I'm wrong, hoping I'll be fine But I get up, I always do I never think, I always do Never thought I would all right, so I have a plan. We have a plan, you guys. So, Sophie, how many bales of hay do you think we're gonna get? 148. 148, so when we first moved here, we did our hay, and we got 280 something bales. And then we made an outdoor arena, and then we made a horse field, like a big horse field. So we're not gonna get that much. So you say 143? 48. 148, how many, how, oops. how many, Gabby? 43. Gabby thinks we're getting 43 bales. I think 149. What do you guys think? Put your cast your ballots below. How many bales of hay do you think this property is gonna give us? Like he only cut just this big area over here and left the rest. We have like a whole other field, but it's all uphill, so he didn't cut it. I win. The horses are all like, I don't know. This is boring. Let's just go eat. Look at how cute you look. Hay right now. They're just on grass. Somebody in the comments suggested that. We all share some thing that happened to us in our horse journey that was dangerous. Like how Sophie was lunging chance the other day and like how I let the ponies in and Gracie went into Penny stall behind her, which was not fun. Did you guys see that? Can I just say something? Sure, say it, Sophie. Everything about horses is dangerous. Yeah, like you can be lunging the most calm, quiet horse and something can go bad. So Gabby, tell us something that has happened to you. Do you remember anything that's happened to you? That could be, yeah, like Gabby has fallen and there have been things that have, yeah, like every, everybody's horse journey has had things happen to them. But anyway, this lady was saying that she was a teenager, just 12 or 13. When I fell off the and I got a concussion. Yeah, but so she was saying that when she was young, like Sophie's age, she was walking a horse in the hot walker and she needed to open a gate and she needed two hands. So she put the rope around her sh over her shoulders and around her neck and oh, then no, that's, not good. <laughs> yeah, that's not good like that's a good one share those kind of stories that'll make us feel better but I'm anyways do that with willow because willow won't even move the muscle but it's really a good to share the fact that there are bad things that have happened to all of us horses not horses any like just in life in general you learn more and you learn faster from accidents and from mistakes and that is just how life works so anyways if you want to play along comment below what your biggest mistake was as an equestrian or in any part of your life it's in building other people up that we feel amazing in our hearts so comment below and see if you feel amazing why is there only two things up there? yeah all my good stuff is at the barn with mr chance don't you know that you're beautiful